This screencast covers Module 3, Lesson 11, where we work with subtracting unlike fractions, and in particular mixed numbers. I made a screencast earlier uh, on this, but I rethought Method 3, which involves using improper fractions uh, as a means of subtracting our uh, mixed numbers. And I think I found something that's much better than what I had on the first screencast, and this is a little different from what is presented in the actual lesson. All right, let's look at this. Now, I'm going to compare this with the version that I had in my previous screencast. And although this is not a real difficult one, for, uh, it, nonetheless, I'm going to demonstrate uh, this alternative approach to method three. So again, I have to change 2 and 1 third to a, an improper fraction. And I multiply 2 times 3, get 6 plus 1 is 7, so I get 7 thirds. And then I'm going to subtract, and I'm going to convert 1 and 1 fifth, and I get 6 fifths. Okay, not a problem. And we can easily find our like unit, which is uh, 15 ths and 2 and 1 third is 7 thirds, which is also the same as 35 fifteenths. And 6 fifths is the same as 18 fifteenths. We find the difference between those two and we get 17 fifteenths, which is the one, same as 1 and 2. Let's erase that. 1 and 2 fifteenths. But let's look at this other way of doing the same problem. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to subtract the whole first. So that way I'm working with smaller numbers. So I'll rewrite the expression 2 and 1 third minus 1 and 1 fifth. Okay, we can subtract the whole first. So 2 minus 1 is 1. So now I have 1 and 1 third minus 1 fifth. This is much easier. Now we can change it to a, uh, an improper fraction once again. We only have to use that technique for the uh, minuen. The subtrahend is, is a regular fraction. So now I have my 4 thirds minus 1 fifth. We find the equivalents and our equi uh, equal units are 15 And Now I have 20 fifteenths minus three fifteenths. Uh, you can see we're working with smaller numbers now and I get seventeen fifteenths and once again we have one and two fifteenths. I think this is a lot easier. I wish I had thought of this before. Let's go on and do another example with bigger numbers. Okay, let's work with a, a, an example with uh, bigger numbers here. And I'm just, I'm not going to solve this the old way, but I am going to set the problem up. If I want to change 5 and 6 sevenths to an improper fraction, I would get 41 sevenths. And 2 and 2 thirds would be 8 thirds. Again, not huge numbers, but uh, they're, we're getting into numbers that where you might have to do some calculations. Um, and Let's now set it up using the newer approach where we subtract the holes first. So I'll rewrite that expression, 5 and 6 sevenths minus 2 and 2 thirds. Okay, we're going to subtract 5 minus 2, and we get 3. So now I have 3 and 6 sevenths minus 2 thirds. We've eliminated one of our mixed numbers. Now we'll change my minuend to an improper fraction, and I get... 27 sevenths minus 2 thirds. We find our common unit, which is a 21. Now we need to convert these to 21sts. And I see that uh, this would be 81. Okay. And that's a pretty big number, but think about uh, how much bigger we'd be working with over there. And now we have 14 always better to try to work with uh, smaller numbers. So now we'll subtract 81 minus 14. Well, I'm going to write that out separately. 
and I get 11 minus 4 is 7 and 7 minus 1 is 6 so I have 67 21st now I'm going to divide my 67 by 21 And I almost could, I could do that in my head really, but I'm going to write it out. So I get three, three times twenty-one is sixty-three, and I have a remainder of four. So that tells me that it is now three and four twenty-firsts. Okay. Sometimes this is going to be more helpful than other times, but again, if we take out the uh, subtract the whole first, we're working with smaller numbers, and that's almost always a good thing.